Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about battle power mainly in preparation for the December update as well as just some quality of life things for the current content that we have. But before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the first thing I want to point out is my personal battle power is 1425 over here on my Braver on ship 2 which is my main ship and with this much battle power I can pretty much do any content that the game throws at me including the purple triggers and all of the end game content. However, something that I want to remind everyone as well as I want to encourage everyone to do is to hit at the bare minimum 1400 battle power. I feel like once you hit 1400 battle power or above, everything becomes much much easier and you can pretty much tackle any content the game throws at you right now. And you're also doing yourself a favor when the December update rolls in as we will get the new region and there's going to be new content and new monsters, higher level stuff, so forth and so on. So you don't want to get pub stomped by that content and you kind of want to be able to progress through it comfortably so you should really be aiming for 1400 battle power or above but i hear you a lot of people are like caro that's so much masetta i need to use my masetta for fashion i need to buy all these outfits i want to look nice blah 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 like i get it you know well lucky for you guys i have a character on ship one and i was able to get higher battle power than my ship two character with very very little investment so let's hop over to ship one and let's take a look at what i did so we are now on my ship one character you can tell by just simply looking at my Masetta, I only have 700,000 Masetta, and uh, you can see my battle power is actually 10 battle power higher than my Ship 2 character. But if we look at my gear over here, it's nothing really crazy. I'm simply using an Evil Coat Katana with no fixa, which costs a thousand Masetta on the player shop if you're too lazy to farm for it. By the way, like every Evil Coat weapon right now on the market, as long as it doesn't have a fixa, literally costs a thousand Masetta. So there's pretty much no excuse to not pick up an evil coat weapon. So the reason why I recommend the evil coat weapons is simply because their base attack is 282 when you get it to plus 40, but on top of that the most important thing is potency plus 26%. This is the highest potency you can get on a weapon if you disregard the Straga weapons. The Straga weapons go up to 27%, however there is a downside if you use the Straga weapons and that is you do take more damage. This on the other hand just gives you 26%, there's no condition to it, and on top of that you also get photo blast gauge charge when attacking plus 20 percent which means you can use your photon blast more often very very useful in a pinch because photon blast first of all is an iframe for the entire duration so that's very nice and second of all photon blast does a crap ton of damage especially if you've broken the enemy or you elemental down them or physical down them it is very very strong so this is what i recommend as for my armors over here you can see that i am just using vialto armors with some fixes you know fix a one here fix a one here and a fix a two here you can go with armors with fixes or without fixes it really doesn't matter it's literally only the min max territory matters about the fixa and from my understanding the fixes don't even affect your battle power anyway it's just like that extra one percent more damage resistance or one percent more damage or whatever so it really doesn't matter you can literally pick up some really cheap armors and be fine with it so now some of you guys might be wondering carol you got your armors and your weapons to plus 40 doesn't that cost a lot to enhance all of those things well actually actually not that bad anymore because of the yellow triggers. So you can farm for these yellow triggers in any of the combat zones, you literally just kill mobs and there's a chance of it dropping. Yellow triggers drop a lot more often than the purple triggers by the way, so that is great news for us who are looking to upgrade. And all we need to do is look for the golden prim swords as well as the golden prim armors which are plus 20. Now if you don't have that much time to play then unfortunately it is going to be a little bit more costly if you buy it off the marketplace, but you can buy these golden prim armors armors and swords depending on what you're upgrading. So let's say that you want to upgrade your armors, you can buy the golden prim armor right here. It will cost a little bit, you know, it's 33,000. However, the thing is it's at plus 20 already, which is nice. And on top of that, you also get this nice augment, which increases EXP earned by 450 when used as enhancement material. So you won't need that many gold prim armors in order to max out a new armor. So for example, right here, I'm going to buy a Queldi armor Arga, which is the red box armor. You can see here, this will cost me 16,000. However, the reason why I would like to buy this armor is because it gives me plus 4 PP and gives me 1% for melee and range potency, 
which is really really nice for my braver because I use both types of damage so I'm gonna buy this right here for uh, 16,000 so let's buy that boom and then I'm gonna buy some of the gold armors and let's see how many it takes in order to max this armor out so we can see over here at the item lab when we talk to the NBC go to item enhancement let's throw in the new Arga armor that we just bought and you can see that it gets us all the way from zero to plus 31 so if you were simply to just farm this, it would be really, really easy because for every yellow trigger you consume, you are guaranteed one gold prim armor and one golden prim sword at plus 20 already. So you literally just farm for 25 of these golden triggers, you run them, and listen, if you don't have a bunch of yellow triggers, it's perfectly fine. What you can do is you can have five yellow triggers, just go to the most populated block, tell people, hey, I've got these yellow triggers, is anyone willing to share? So, you know, you pop your trigger, the next person person pops their trigger and if you have four people in your party then technically you only have five triggers but you get to do it four times you get it because we rotate the host so you host the first one you give the other three players free gold prim armors free gold prim swords the second person hosts they give you free stuff the third person hosts you get more free stuff and the fourth person hosts and then you get another free gold prim armor and sword so this is really really useful especially if you're trying to farm for these upgrade materials in order to save a little bit of mistakes set up and save a little bit of resources. Now the nice thing about this is even though you have all of these golden prim armors, what you can do is you can also purchase a great success thing. So remember your free scratch every single day and all those viper tongues you get? You can actually utilize that in the swap shop over here or the item trader Travis. We're going to talk to him. We're going to go to item recycle and right here enhancement success rate plus 50%. Now you will need six SG scratch tickets in order to purchase one of these. However, it is worth it, it will save you a lot of money. So you can see here whether you want to switch it with AC or if you want to do it with SG. So in my case, since I am free to play, I only have access to the SG one. Click here. Let's go to my material storage. I've got three badges here and uh, I think I'm actually screwed. I don't have any other items. Well, unfortunately, I can't purchase this because I don't have any of the SG scratch tickets because I've been doing the free scratch every single day on my ship two character and not on the ship one character. However, there is another way of of course and that is over here there is the enhancement success rate plus 30 percent however you need the target special scratch items you'll need two of these in order to get the 30 percent one so the special scratch item is the one that i showed you in yesterday's video where we go to scratch tickets and the special scratch right here so if you do have any of these tickets over here and you have duplicates you can always exchange those for the 30 percent okay but for the sake of the video we're gonna gamble over here and uh, let's pray that we get the 40 percent even though i have no more great success remember the great success rate is 10% by default over here. So uh, let us pray that uh, it's success, great success, please. Nope, okay, just regular success. So unfortunately, it only got up to plus 31. So the reason why you want your armors and your weapons to be plus 40 is because of the augment slots. So the augments themselves are gonna be the things that are gonna give you the bulk of your battle power, all right? So getting your armors, getting your weapons to plus 40 is really just to open up the augment slots. And of course, it increases increases your defense as well as your attack by a little bit so it does help but it's mainly for the augment slots right so what augments should we be looking at on a budget so we go to add augments over here again we'll just use the new armor that we just made and we are going to go to material storage and you can see i have a bunch of capsules over here however this is my ship one character which i don't play very often so i don't have that many capsules to choose from so the very first step i recommend everyone to look at is what type of damage are you dealing that is the most important thing you want to identify what type of potency you want to increase so for example if you're a melee class then it's melee potency if you're range class it's range potency if you're a tech class it's tech potency but there are specific classes such as the jet boots bouncer which needs tech damage it doesn't scale off melee damage even though technically you're kicking enemies with your jet boots and that looks like it's melee but it doesn't scale off melee damage it scales off tech damage so just make sure that you identify what type of potency you need to increase and that's literally all you're going to do you're just going to max out the potency as much as possible so in my case i play a braver mainly using katana so i will be prioritizing melee weapon potency so for example might 2 is really good if i can afford my 
3 even better because this gives me 2% melee potency. However, if I cannot afford Might 3 or Might 2, Might 1 is perfectly fine. If you look over here at my evil Coke Katana, I'm using Might 1. You can see here that my weapon only gives me 4.5% more melee potency. It's not super amazing. I literally have Fire Exploit, Magnus Note, which you get from just farming at Mount Magnus for like 10 minutes. Uh, Form Soul 2, you also have a bajillion of these and Might 1. These are pretty much free. They are legitimately free because you get them just by farming combat zones and they drop like candy. This is not some crazy expensive gigantic capsules or ale domina or anything super duper fancy. This is really really basic and simple stuff right here. And the fire exploit I just got from the event shop or just by killing any seasonal enemies they also drop this so you should have a ton of these. So adding this in just for the duration of this event is definitely going to help you because this 2.5% works on basically everything. Because everything's weak to fire during the Halloween event. Well, almost all seasonal enemies are weak to fire. While we're on the topic of augments over here, don't forget to upgrade your weapon's potential. Now, you don't need to get to potential level 4 if you can't afford it because maybe you don't have the X cubes or maybe you don't have the Meseta. It's perfectly fine to stop at level 3. The difference between level 3 and level 4 is 1% potency, so it's not that big of a deal. Eventually, you do want to get it if you can afford it. However, if you can't, it's perfectly fine to just stay at level 3 and you'll be fine, alright? The damage difference between 25% potency and 26% potency is very minimal. It's literally like 1%, so don't worry too much about it. But if you can afford it, I definitely recommend it. So back to our armor over here, what augments would I pick up? First of all, Might 2 if you can afford it. Obviously, if you can't, Might 1. If you can splurge a little bit more, Might 3. And it's going to be the same if you are range potency, then you've got precision 1, 2, 3. And if you're technique, then you've got technique 1, 2, 3. All right, so that is the first thing that I would pick up. The next augment we could look at is a soul augment. So unfortunately, if you are not a melee character, you do not have form soul 1 and form soul 2. I personally recommend form soul 2 if you are a melee melee character because this augment is dirt cheap and drops like candy and gives you 2% more melee potency and 2% damage resistance. Really, really nice. But if you're more DPS oriented, then Dido Soul 1 and Dido Soul 2 is definitely something to look at. It gives you 5 PP and 2% weapon potency. So you're a little bit less tanky, but you get that extra 5 PP so you can cast additional photon arts and deal more damage. Now, if you deal range damage or tech damage, unfortunately, you are bound to Pedasol 1 2 if you are a range character and Next Soul 1 2 if you are a technique character. So, unfortunately, the uh, Next Souls are pretty expensive. They have dropped in price significantly, so they're much cheaper now. But if you can afford it, obviously go for Next Soul 2. But if you can't, it's perfectly fine to just go with Next Soul 1 for now. Okay, so now we picked up a main stat as well as a soul. So what is the next upgrade we should be looking at? And that is going to be a note. This again is dirt cheap. You get a ton of these farming in specific combat zones. So if you want melee potency, you get the Magnus note. This gives you 1.5% melee potency. You get this farming at Mount Magnus. Again, it drops like candy. Lab note over here gives you range damage and Rezzle Forest note or Rez Rezola note gives you tech potency, all right? So depending on what you need, you just farm at that specific area, literally just farm there for like 30 minutes and you're guaranteed to get at least 10 of these capsules. It really drops like candy. So you can see here I've got like 281 lab notes. I've got 98 of these Rezola notes. They drop like crazy. It's super duper easy, all right? So just pick up those notes and put that in, all right? Now I do recommend obviously having 10 of each capsules before augmenting that way your chances are much higher they're not going to be these abysmal percentages over here like me because look if i put 10 of the lab notes this is going to be 90 percent and then you can put in 10 percent augmentation aid and boom it's going to be 100 percent super easy and last but not least this is fully optional but you can go with Alt Secreta 1 or Alt Secreta 2, which again increases your potency at the cost of 10 HP, as well as 1.5% damage resistance. So you're going to take a little bit more damage, you're going to have a little bit less HP, but you're also going to deal more damage. So this is optional. You don't have to go with Alt Secreta, but it is definitely something you can look at. Now, if you don't want to go with Alt Secreta, you can go with another main stat if you want. You can go with, you know, more HP with stamina. You can go Spirit if you want more PP. The options are endless. You can do whatever you want just keep in mind that you are limited 
to one note and one soul. This is very important to understand that there are limitations to the augments, but for the main stats, you can pick up as many as you want. For example, let's say that you want stamina 2, you want spirit 2, you want might 2. You can pick up all three of them and it's going to work. Look, I go confirm over here. Bang, bang, bang. You see, super duper easy. So if you want multiple main stats over here, you can do so as well. And so let me show you what I did to get 1435 battle power on my ship 1 character. I literally spent less than 500,000 meseta. So that is less than one week's worth of weeklies. So the meseta you make, and it's super easy. You'll be done by week one. It's super duper cheap. And if you're still struggling with meseta, don't forget the event shop has 700,000 meseta, which you can pick up by just using the event currency, changing it to the alpha reactors and selling off the alpha reactor. So that will also help you a ton. So let me just show you the weapons that I have. So first of all is the evil Coke Katana. I literally bought this off the market for 1000 Meseta and all of these augments I farmed for. So as we can see, fire exploit, this drops from any seasonal enemy. Magnus note only drops in Mount Magnus. So you just go there for like 30 minutes and you'll be fine. Form Soul 2 drops from any doll and it gives 2% melee potency, very, very nice. Might one drops from anything in the exploration zones, so super easy, all right? So all of these have a very high drop rate and they're super duper cheap if you're really impatient, but it's literally like 30 minutes worth of work if you really wanna just farm for everything or you can spend the meseta, up to you. As for my armors, they're all pretty much the same in augments. So the first one is Might 2, I've got Form Soul 2 again, I've got Magnus Note again, and I've got Alt Secreta 2. So I do take Alt Secreta 2 on all of my armor, so I am sacrificing 30 HP but the extra damage is worth it in my personal opinion. So you can see here again on my second piece of armor it's exactly the same Form Soul 2, Alt Secreta 2, Magnus Note and Might 2 and on my last piece over here I could only afford a Might 1 again Form Soul 2, Magnus Note, Alt Secreta 2 and boom done super easy super clean and we are at 1435 battle power we're literally kicking everything's ass and it's super duper easy okay so there really shouldn't be any excuse to be below 1400 you guys should really be aiming for 1400 battle power and also don't forget to spend your skill points over here because this will also help you deal more damage and increase your battle power significantly okay special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you you again. Anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!